Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for the Daily Vibes for around the 18th, okay? Keep in mind that the timing is fluid. Now, these readings tend to play out in the next few days, typically, for me. Um, for some of you, I've heard it can be a month, you know? Um, anyhow, so let's just see what comes up. What kind of message do I have to deliver today? What kind of message do I have to deliver today? Ace of Cups reversed right off the bat. Ace of Swords reversed. So somebody hasn't been honest about their feelings or about their emotions. There's dishonesty here. They've been dishonest in the past. They haven't been telling the truth. And there's sadness and there's tears. So there's sad, I mean, this is sadness and tears over dishonesty or a loss of power. King of Pentacles reverse. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. You could also be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Either way, there's some instability here. We have somebody here that lacks discipline. They're very, very controlling with the King of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that is unstable, insecure, unfaithful, not loyal, does not act with integrity, is more interested in things than following their heart. This is somebody that is... Uh, more interested not in love, okay? Love is not their top priority. Following their heart is not their top priority. Uh, this is somebody that may do things illegally. This could be a liar. This is somebody that is ruthless, um, that is very, very unstable, and they are focused on uh, whatever they can get. This is like, what can I get for nothing, you know? Um, very selfish, stubborn energy. So whoever this person is, they're not being realistic. They're not being responsible. They're not being practical. And they aren't mastering their emotions. And they probably haven't been telling the truth. So there's a loss of power. So this person could be angry. You may have somebody here that is angry over losing power or control or something like that. And there could be some mental instability because they can't master their emotions. So we do have somebody that is in their emotions and it's because they're not honoring their truth. Okay, they're not honoring their truth at all. Um, <laughs> Seven of Wands reverse. Now that is, uh, let's get one more card. The Devil. The Devil reverse. Now I'm not sure what is going on here, but I feel like we have a separation. We have the lovers on the bottom. This is discontent. It's disharmony. So we have somebody here that is probably angry. I feel like they're angry because the Devil reverse can be extremely angry. Somebody may be angry because they've lost their power and they've lost control, but they've lost control because of lies. Okay. Um, definitely because of lies. Um, seven of Wands reverse. Now that is admitting defeat, stepping down, giving up, quitting. Uh, no power to fight. You know, because the Seven of Wands is uh, being in a tough position where you can still win. But in the Seven of Wands reverse, that's a loss of some sort. Somebody's definitely losing their power. They have, or they've lost their power. Um, I feel like this is a disaster with that devil card. This is somebody that is, it may be in an extremely dark energy that they need to break free from, but they always want to, they want to fight. This is somebody who likes to fight or genuinely fights or likes to be in a top position. It feels like they're being taken down. Somebody may be taken down or they're losing their position. They've lost their position. And uh, so somebody has lost or they're losing their position and they're in a dark place. And it feels like it's an extremely dark place. This is like, it could be extremely depressed and they want control. This is somebody who wants control, but I feel like they've lost some sort of control. They've lost their power. And, and so I feel like they're angry. I feel like they're extremely angry. Um, 
Seven of Pentacles. Now this is a card of investment and waiting for something to happen. Somebody has invested in something and I feel like they're not getting the outcome that they thought that they were going to get. This is a uh, lack of success. I feel like somebody put in effort into something, like I said, and they're not getting what they thought. You know, that things aren't coming to fruition like they thought they were going to. So there's a level of discontent here. Um, two of Pentacles, there's gonna be a change. Two of Pentacles is a change, a need to be flexible, adapt to a change. Somebody needs to make a change. They need to be more flexible. But they've been in their ego, okay, because the devil is a card of ego. They've been in an extremely dark place trying to fight for something, and they've been unreasonable. This person has been unreasonable. They've been, they've been trying to get something where there's no growth. You know, there's no, it's time to go someplace else with the Seven of Pentacles. It's like they've been, they've been waiting for something to change, but it's not changing. But this person's lazy anyway. They're lazy. It's like if you can just, they do, it's like they want to have something given to them. And there's like no fight left. And they don't have the stability or they don't have the opportunities, you know, to build stability. This, or this is somebody that is just very superficial. I mean, with the King of Pentacles reversed next to the Devil reversed there. Somebody has been in a position that they are being taken out of by the looks of things. They are no longer going to be in that position anymore. And I feel it's because time is up. Seven of Pentacles, time is up. There's no growth here. Get ready for a change. Somebody needs a change. They need to be flexible. They're going to need to adapt to a change. Things may be chaotic right now. Things may seem chaotic. Um... Hold on. They may seem like, you know, <sighs> it's unclear. It feels like it's unclear. You know, this person is like, hmm, what should I do? What should I do? This is somebody that is going back and forth. They're going back and forth as to what they should do. And right now, they, they really are unsure. Should I, sh what should I do? Should I invest in this? Should I give up? Should I invest in this? Should I give up? What should I do? What should I do? This is investment. Should I give up? So somebody is really, but this is unstable. We do have somebody here that is unstable. And they, are, they have control issues. This is somebody that has control issues. They've lost their power in some way. They're feeling very emotional. They're not happy. They're definitely not happy. And they're going back and forth as to what they should do. Right now. Should I go this way or that way? And it's a choice that they may need to make. So this person is in the process of making a choice. But they have been dishonest in the past about their feelings, about their emotions, about the truth. Ten of Pentacles reverse. Now the Ten of Pentacles reverse is a is is a huge loss. Okay, it's a, losing it all. Okay, this is uh, somebody may have gotten into a relationship. They may have married for money, and if this isn't marriage, it could be a business partnership. Uh, this is losing it all. This is ruin. Um, very uncomfortable. Somebody is very 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 uncomfortable. They're in some sort of. Uh, foundation that is not stable okay it's not stable it's not secure it's not comfortable it's not abundant and the reason one of the, a few of the reasons is because of the lack of communication and the, and the dishonesty and the lack of love okay there is no strong foundation without love okay and dishonesty and lack of communication. I mean, that's definitely not going to make something last, okay? With the Ten of Pentacles reversed, this is the uh, collapse of an empire or the loss of a house or something that, uh, you know, somebody built up something that wasn't logical, it wasn't uh, emotionally fulfilling, they built it up because it looked good, you know, it may have looked financially stable or whatever, and now it's over, 
okay? It's over, it's, it, or it's ending, okay? So anyway, um, this is a huge loss with the Ten of Pentacles reversed. It is a huge, 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 this is like losing it all. It is like losing it all. Um, so somebody may be, you know, having a hard time with their emotions because they've lost it all or they're losing it all, but they're, they're losing it all or, or they've lost it all because of their, their dishonesty. I mean, that's, that's it right there. Anyhow, um, and now they're thinking about breaking free from something. Maybe it's a bad behavior. Maybe it's ego. Maybe it's a toxic relationship. You know, they got into something for instant gratification. That's why they got into it because uh, it looked stable, right? It looked, it made them comfortable, you know, for the instant gratification, but now they're going to need to change. Okay. This is somebody that is going to be dealing with some changes and they're going to have to make a choice. And right now they're in the process of thinking about this choice. You know, do I, do I, uh, give up the toxicity? Do I give up the ego? Do I give up the position or do I invest? So that somebody is making a choice right now as to what they, what they want to do. And I feel like they are, um, well, the problem is, is that this person is, uh, controlling this person has control issues they have money issues they have you know financial issues financial problems whether whether they are only in a relationship for money now somebody may be in a relationship for the home or the assets right now you know um they may be staying in that for that reason that's ego okay we may also have somebody here that is has control issues you know and they don't want to give up control but i think they've already lost their power they might as well just they might as well just give it up. They, this is like stepping down. So we definitely have somebody here that is thinking about whether they should uh, continue to hold on to this position or they should step down and, you know, perhaps invest someplace else because the seven of pentacles can be relocation, you know, because where they're at, there's, there's, there's no growth. It's, it's, it's short lived success. Okay. That's all it is. It's short lived success. And it's coming to an end. Somebody has built a foundation that isn't stable and they may have received short-lived success, but with this 10, it's over. Oh, it, there's, there's no growth there. Okay, it's over. But this person is extremely stubborn and egotistical. And I feel like they, ha they may have to step down from their position and be flexible and break free from the mindset or the toxicity or whatever it is that is keeping them in that situation that is not, you know, all it's cracked up to be. Um, so anyway, there is a, somebody is definitely thinking about their options right now. And I feel like they're in their emotions and they, they're feeling emotionally unstable. They are emotionally unstable. This person is emotionally unstable right now because uh, they're not honoring their truth. And when you don't honor your truth, it's going to affect your emotions. You, you, I'm telling you what, it does. So, um, yeah. High priestess, high priestess. Now this is somebody that goes within, listens to their intuition, takes a time out to reflect on everything that is happening. So somebody may be receiving a message. Maybe they're receiving a message from, you know, it could be a tarot reader, could be a medium, could be a healer that, you know, that makes them think, that makes them think about, you know, their options. So somebody's definitely going to be going to be reflecting on, uh, I think it's a relationship they're gonna, and I think it's because they receive a message from somebody that puts them in their emotions, you know, and makes them see something because the high priestess is, is somebody that, you know, feels, that sees, that goes within, that takes time to, well, listens, listens. So, um, takes a time out. So somebody is going to be taking a time out and they're going to be feeling something. They're going to be feeling that a change is needed. And I think it all comes and it could come from within. It doesn't have to be. It could come from a gut. 
could come from a message from above, could come from your intuition, come, could come from your gut, could come from a tarot reader, you know, or a healer or a medium or a psychic or something like that. Somebody that is very spiritual, okay? We have somebody here that is very spiritual that is getting a message or they've given a message, you know, that, you know, really uh, put somebody in their emotions, okay? So I do believe that whoever this person is, they're weighing their options and they're in the process of making a choice. Somebody is going to be taking back control or they want to take back control of a situation, but they will need to break free from something that is unhealthy first. They will need to follow their gut and follow their intuition and listen to the messages that they're receiving. So somebody is going to get a message either today or tomorrow or in the near future that is going to cause them maybe even a little bit of inside chaos, you know, where, you know, you, you feel it on the inside, you know, a little bit of turbulence per se. I feel like this turbulence is is happening because somebody needs to honor their truth and what their heart wants. But somebody is so materialistically focused on holding on to something that isn't stable, where there isn't love, where there isn't honesty, where there isn't real communication. And and, and maybe they're doing it because on the outside, because this, these because on the outside it looks so good you know so that would be social pressure so anyway there is there is a change that is coming somebody is in their feelings right now they are definitely in their feelings and they are probably going to go within and they're going to be probably receiving more messages uh, either from their gut or a higher power or from whoever that tells them you know Perhaps it's time to let go of your position and follow your heart and be honest with yourself. Good luck.